I now call up on the Honorable Member for Fony Jarol. Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. And then may I start my delivery song by thanking the Honorable Ministers for the time you've dedicated to be here and then all the time you spend and resources to be here with us. I don't need to say much about the ministers because already I've discussed uh, some of my issues confronting my region with some of you. We, uh, it's about the roads and the electricity. So, and then I must also apologize for what has happened here. And then I must now talk to my fellow honorables. None of us got the name honorable before we are here. We are given the title because of something. It's about the country. We don't have to disrespect this National Assembly. I am one whose culture has trained me to respect my leaders and respect my people. I don't jump to insult anyone. And I always stand by to defend my leader and anyone who is in position. I will disagree with you in terms of politics. That is about political ideology and political belief. This is why all of us belong to different political parties. But this parliament is one family. There are a lot of issues that are confronting this country that we should focus on than focusing on the past. This is why I say that the country is not moving forward because we are looking back too much. At the moment, some of the challenges that we are facing, one deportation of our people. They are deporting them. They are coming here, no jobs for them. Two, unemployment. As I speak to you, according to statistics, we are at 41% unemployment. Three, high price of living, including rental fees. Now to rent a house is very, very, very difficult. Inflation, again, is another thing. So far today, as I speak to you, to convert it to a dollar, it's just like mil franc, you have to kick it to 500 something. A kilo of meat today at the central abattoir cost nothing less than 350, just meat and bone. A family of 10 people, how many kilos do you need? Increase in poverty as a result of unemployment and other issues. This is why there is an increase in poverty. Insecurity. I will continue to fight for this. As long as this country continues to hold these foreign forces in this country, Nothing is going to work for this country, and we will continue to neglect our security forces. I see no reason why these security forces should be here. What is happening today in Senegal in terms of political uh, problems is higher than in the Gambia. So why are these people here up to date? Mali, there is a coup d'etat. Burkina Faso, there is a coup d'etat. Gambia, six years, none of, no, there is no debt due to political uh, tensions or political problems. What are these people there? The money we are spending for these people, the security, economic and others, the so-called economic here in this country, should, can be spent on our own security so that we improve the security of this country. Imagine someone who is paid to be a watchman at a place. The armed robbers just go there, like just the scene that Honorable Giba just explained. Starve to death. How many of us are safe here who are honorables now? The other day, the Honorable Giba was just coming to work. Someone has to go, that was even robbery, daylight robbery. He has to pick his bag and run. Some people have to run and they just go. That is daytime. To get the bag from him. So what kind of country are we living? I'm appealing to honorable members. When we are here, let's focus on the development of country. We are free to belong to any political party. We are not here to disrespect and hunt each other. Me, I am ready to defend anyone who serves me as a leader. We can disagree when it comes to politics. This is how I am trained. In my culture, I am trained to respect people. One thing they train me, one thing they train me is not, not to fear anyone, as long as I'm on the right side. This is what I am saying. This is what I will continue to defend. When we are here, let's fight for national interests. The issues I mentioned here are the ones affecting this society. Every day or every week, our people have been deported. According to our budget, 2023, we have said that we're going to create 150,000 jobs. So far, three months have already gone. How many jobs have you created so far? This means to me it's impossible. What do we do? All these ministers and honorable members, this is a family. We are elected by the people to represent them. The ministers are appointed by the president to work for him. So when we talk about them, it's not about them, it's about the institutions that they serve. 
So this is why we have to give them that maximum respect. And exercising them does not mean that we hate them also. Me, I make sure that whenever I am talking to you, I talk to you based on policies. If you decide you start insulting, I leave you. But one thing I hate to see, to insult my elder while I'm sitting there. I am not trained to be like that. And that one, no. So that one, I will just stay by that. The other thing that I also have to discuss about the audit report. It is very unfortunate for a comment just to be said that an audit report was just an opinion. What is that opinion all about? What is the opinion about when you say it was an opinion? It looks like the statement that was made was to encourage corruption. And corruption is one of the issues that is causing unemployment in this country. That is causing the rising of prices of basic commodities in this country. One man cannot just loot millions while the others go to suffer. Mm -hmm. An institution that should employ more, like our SOEs, our state-owned enterprise, like Gamtel, as I speak to you today, even to, to maintenance their vehicle, it's a problem. They are receiving their salaries late. Go to GCC. It's another problem there. The staff, if it continues the way it is operating, it might be closed next year. And then now, if we keep on closing our jobs, we are not fighting how we, we just maintain this thing. All we're looking at the political parties. All we're looking at hunting for one man. We are ready to defend this man up to the last of our dead blood of God. That one, no compromise on that. This is a man who served this country and put structures here and developed this country to the maximum of any, that any, any leader within the African country has done. So we have to understand that when we are here, the man is gone, we are here for, to move this country forward, not only continue, all about one thing, six years, our people are suffering. But we are not thinking of how do we move from that? What do we think of now, how to play school? If we kill that man, what, what, what benefit do we gain from it? Can one tell me that? If we get him, what benefit do we get? Nothing. When our own children are so people finish school, they have no place to work. We are not focusing on that. Some of us, we hate other people here because of they work for the previous government. We are not going to take it. This is how I am trained. I am here to represent my people. I am choosing to be here based on my commitment and hard work and discipline. That's why they think that I am the right person to represent them here. And I am going to make that full representation without any fear or favor. People should understand. I am appealing to government. The security forces that are here, economic has no reason to be here. Because what has, is happening in those countries where they belong to is worse than the Gambia. So why are they even here? The resources that we spend on the less spend on our security is better than anything else. Senators, as I speak to you, every day almost they are killing each other in Scansor and others. So what peace are they maintaining here when their own country is on fire? What are we keeping them? When our people even at the, at, at, in the camps, they don't have enough food to eat. Why are we keeping these people? Even though the funds are coming from EU and whatever. Let's fight to make sure we overcome the challenges that I mentioned here. How do we protect our people who have been deported? How do we create jobs for our people? How do we make sure that the rising prices of this community? This Russia-Ukraine war is a global challenge. I even sometimes ask myself, what if Russia was shooting the Gambia? Maybe now we will not be talking of something else. Because anything that happens, we are talking Russia-Ukraine war. And then something will come, because now, I understand the ICC are passed an order to arrest uh, Putin. This will be worse than the Russia Ukraine when he is arrested. We will be talking of something else. So I am appealing to, uh, to honorable members. We are giving this honorable name because we are voted to be honorable members, not to be horrible people. We cannot be here and disrespecting ourselves. Please, when we come, we have what is guiding us, that is the standing orders and the constitution. Let's familiarize ourselves with it and then work for the betterment of this country. A country where we have lost security, there will be no peace. I have to make that very clear. Whether anyone is making millions and you think putting the securities here is safe, will save us, while our youths are unemployed, the number is increasing, it's going to bring chaos to this country. We have to look at how we address these issues. We have to believe in, our, in ourselves, not to believe in foreign securities to be here for us. They have no reason to be here. Even at the State House, when I visited there, I was so much upset seeing foreign forces just to scream me to get into that one. It should not be. We have our own people. They have no reason to be here. They have to leave this country immediately if I get the orders. Thank you very much.